I got a link, it's on 40 in my right car This is changing, I like I ain't know this Get it money, nigga, that my main focus With two, two, three, you act like you gon' know this We're part of beam and my niggas always rollin' Hey, what's up, guys? Today we are going to do an uh, American-style Louis Vuitton Vans with this uh, all-black and the first step we're going to do here is take our acetone and an old t-shirt. We're just going to acetone all the parts that we're going to paint. So the sole and the, both of the stripes here. Next, we're going to tape our sole. So we're just going to try to get as close there and skip, to, skip the head here. But... For this style of custom, we got to split the sole in half here, straight down the middle. You can just kind of eyeball it. So we did it for our, the toe here. Now we're going to have to do it for the heel after we tape off the side here. Alrighty, we got that done. Now the next thing to do is completely tape off the rest of the shoe here so then no other spots are showing as you can see we used a paper towel now we're going to take our Louis, v Louis Vuitton stencils here and we're going to uh, just uh, hand place them on there you can use transfer paper but I like to uh, hand place them on so then I can get a variety of different, different stencils in different places. But now we got them all on, we're going to take our heat gun and I like to use the heat gun so that the stencil will stick better to the shoe so then no paint can leak under it and ruin your stencil. And then you just press down to make sure that uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Now we're going to use our uh, blue paint here, um, just kind of eyeballing it, see how much we need for this custom. And our too thin, but you want to mix uh, one third of your too thin to your paint, which that's just another eyeball. Now we got that. Now we're going to do a lot of light coats here. so. Uh, here I'll show you how much uh, I recommend for a first coat but that should be about what it would look like for a first coat and now we're just going to keep uh, repeating the process and then skip the head here and uh, we got that done now the next thing is just to uh, remove each and every stencil and uh, be careful whenever you pick up the stencils from the from the shoe um, make sure that you're not pulling up any paint as well with it and if you are doing that more than likely that means the paint ain't fully dry yet so I like to after you uh, take your heat gun I like to uh, I'll wait just a little bit before I uh, pick up the stencils but skipped ahead and uh, we got that part finished and now we're going to do the opposite uh, from the p part that we just painted we're going to do the opposite uh, stripe just because um, I already have my uh, blue paint and my air gun I don't really feel like cleaning the air gun and taking that paint out so then we could uh, replace it with the red so it's just easier to get all the parts that we're going to do with the blue done first we got that all on there and uh, we're just going to use light coats again and uh, just paint, paint away
also be uh be careful whenever you're uh painting um with stencils make sure that your air that your airbrush is painted um, straight and towards the part that you're painting is not sideways painting onto it because if you do it that way it's a lot greater of a chance that your paint's going to get under your stencil and um, just completely ruin the stencil and then you're going to have to go on it with white paint and try to touch it up or with acetone and try to get rid of that blue paint but now we're just taking off each and every stencil here and um, we're going to go to the next part of it then and now um, skipped ahead a little bit because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that part of just paper toweling the other side and taping it up but we're just going to do the other side here do the exact same process of laying down all your stencils where you want them doesn't matter where they go as long as you think they look good and uh, just laying down some paint here and um, just making sure that airbrush is straight on with the shoe and uh, that we're doing light coats Sorry that some of this got cut out of the frame. Um, should have had the camera up a little bit higher, but ended up not not doing that. <laughs> but um, again, whenever you are doing the light coats, the main reason why people stress light coats is because if you put a lot of paint on there at one time it just it's not going to look the best it's going to kind of look clumpy and such and it's also not going to uh, lay the best on your shoe and a lot of people also don't recommend painting your soles like this because if you do drag a toe or whatnot um, you can peel up some of that paint but if you if you uh, use the um, shoe care stuff, that's the shoe protector, which is kind of like a, it looks like the consistency of like a shampoo, and you lay it on there, it does it does work, but I found that it's very difficult to do it with stencils, but I don't know, it might work for you, or um, I just kind of like doing it just with the paint itself, and then at the end putting a layer of layer of it down but anyways we uh, just did the exact same thing as we did with the blue stripe we just went on the other side here and uh, painted it red and we're gonna pull up all these stencils And then once we get done with all that, we're going to uh, go ahead and just rip off, rip off all the tape here and see what we, uh, what we got. See if my uh, taping job did its trick or not. <laughs> now you can see here that on the bottom of the shoe, I did get a lot of overspray, but. I mean, um, nobody's really going to see it, and it's kind of cool of the fade of the red to blue on the bottom. I kind of like it, but it will fade off as you are walking. But anyways, we got that uh, got all the tape off, and um, now we're just going to, uh, and as I pointed to right there, I did get some paint there on the shoelaces, but I got plenty of shoelaces, I'll just... Um, put a new pair on but now just with the final step here is we're going to take our Krylon matte finish and this is kind of like a protective water coat I mean it kind of kind of works for the scratch resistant but it's mostly made just to keep that paint on there and uh, here's the final product and um, if you guys like it like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the on the next video